Hello! In this tutorial I want to show you how you can do pixel by pixel manipulation in SDL. Mean that you set one pixel to some color and some other to another color. Uh, usually we just draw, uh, we just load a BMP image and and leave it as automatic because uh, you know the SDL do everything pixel related for us. But sometimes, for example, when you want to draw a line, then it is, this is just simple not enough because you know there is no way that you can make all of the possible lines a BMP image, or if there is, then it will be very big size. So, for now I just want to show you the put pixel uh, function, actually we will make that function because I believe there is no uh, uh, put pixel or draw pixel function in SDL uh, ready for us, but uh, we can make it very easily. Ok, one thing I did, actually two, is I deleted everything uh, non-related, so I just regulate the FPS, handle the quit event and initialize few variables, and that's all I do for, so I get just a blank screen at the moment. Ok, and one more thing wh which I did is to set the bit per pixel value to 8, although I will show you how you can do it with 32 um, so bit per pixel, although there is a little trick in case of put pixel function. Okay, so call it void put pixel. Okay, you might think that it is it that use the SDR field rect function with one width and one height. Yeah, it is a possibility, but it's probably much slower. Uh, we should directly access to the screen, actually the pixels of the screen and that's what we will do. So as the uh, surface uh, we can call it screen but actually it can be any surface and uh, the end a a x and the y coordinate is needed that's where we will put the pixel. So the first thing to do is to get the pixel array from the SDL surface. Every SDL surface has uh, a very uh, a member f uh, member which is called pixels. This is actually a void pointer which points to the start of the pixels, uh, which is actually not an array, but yeah, it's an array, but uh, we have to cast it. Okay, so because we use 8 bit per pixel, we use the uint 8 format because uh, the, the uint 8 can hold one pixel. Ok, that actually it will be a pointer because we will point to an array in the memory and call it pixels and the and get the screen pixels. Ok, it is just as simple as that and one more thing is needed, we have to cast it to a uint8 because as I said it is a void pointer. So, just cast the uint8 format and we are ready. So this pixels array, actually the pointer to an array, is contain all of the elements of our screen, so all of the pixels. Now we have to manipulate, so we get one pixel, the x and the y coordinate, and we set some color we want. Ok, so before we do that, I want to show you this uh, little uh, uh, grid. So the screen is represented like here, uh, so it's a matrix, a two-dimensional array, but in case of this pixels array, it's actually just one-dimensional array. So I just want to show you how you can uh, get a element which is here, although it's probably obvious, then we uh, multiply the number of elements in a row, times the column, so this, and we add the elements to it. So we multiply the y times the, the y width of the array uh, plus the x. So yeah, this is how we can get one element from an array. Okay, so 
I don't know that is it clear, probably it is because it's not too complicated. So we use an uint8 pointer actually, but this will not point an array, this will just point to a pixel. I call it pixel. Maybe it's not a too good idea to call it almost the same name, but for now it is okay. So this will be uh, this will be the screen oh sorry. So the pixels and plus you remember from the pointer tutorial plus is an offset uh, we offset the pointer to some other value so it will point to uh, uh, somewhere else in this case it will point to a pixel okay so we add the y times the width of the array so the y times the width of the array the width of the array there is a member in the screen which which is help so we don't have to manually write and sometimes it could different than the width of the actual array i don't know why but it could happen so we we, we have to use the screen uh, pitch uh, value uh, member uh, this is uh, this is actually the size of it we can say that and we add the x to it so we multiply this number, so the 10, we multiply it by uh, 3, and then later we add this uh, one 0, one uh, 3 to it. Okay, uh, basically that's what it do, so it, it, it pixel is point to a pixel. So now we can manipulate the value of this pixel, so make it the SDL map RGB and you know the screen format this will be a pixel format this will tell it, uh, tell it that is an 8 bit and so on so how is it stored the pixel and then just um, make it white so we use 0x ff 0x ff 0x ff so you can use 255 255 255 if you want so and in here we just call this put pixel function so put pixel and we give the screen to it and make it 10 10 coordinate okay and basically that was it okay and now if we compile the program oh sorry about that we don't mean the pixel right here uh, we use the indirection operator to not change the uh, pointer change the value sorry about that it even gives us an error as you can see cannot convert u in 8 uh, from u in 32 so pointer okay and now we can compile the program and i don't know that do you see it because it's very uh, uh, so very little but there is a pixel right here where my cursor is okay it's very small but it is seeable okay to make it more seeable we draw a low uh, uh, with it so I use a for loop and uh, I go 100 pixel because this will be a 100 wide uh, line and just put the pixel so the first is the x coordinate so I change that okay so uh, I use a for loop and do 100 point uh, uh, horizontally so there we have a horizontal line oh as you can see there is our line it is 100 pixel uh, long and one pixel wide okay uh, later I want to show you an algorithm which can which can draw a line with any direction and you know uh, like that so don't have to be vertical or horizontal because this method will only work if you uh, draw a vertical or a horizontal line okay so as I said I wanted want to show you how you can draw it in the 32 bits uh, 32 bit per pixel surface so change it 32 and we have to change the 
uh, variables to u in 32 because in case of 32 bit per pixel just a 32 bit uh, bit variable can hold the entire pixel okay change the cast as well change the pixel because you know what and the only thing that remains I don't really know why I don't exactly know why we have to do that but we have to divide this pitch with 4 I don't really know that if you know it just comment it uh, it will work without it although uh, it, it could give segmentation failure if you go too much and it will it will not draw uh, the pixel into any places it uh, leaves uh, four uh, pixels blank I don't really know I just search the SDL draw pixel and I find that we have to do that in case of 32 bit, uh, bit per pixel so if we not just draw it so I call the put pixel and uh, screen 10 10 so we should see the exactly same result as earlier so one pixel is uh, visible at 10 10 coordinate okay mm, probably it is 10 10 I don't know okay and uh, to draw a line we use the for loop uh, why did I delete this never mind so I go from 1 to 100 and uh, just put a horizon just uh, draw a horizontal line and as you can see we have some kind of horizontal line going in here so I just want to show you that before we can go on so thank you for watching and have a great day